Now at 4.30, a new look at the moment. An LAPD SWAT officer was shot by a man following a four-hour standoff in Exposition Park. Well, that standoff began when family and neighbors called 911 to say Jorge Cerda was shooting a gun into the air. Police tried to negotiate with him for hours, but it turned deadly. KKL 9's Jasmine Veal joins us live now with more of the dramatic body cam video. Jasmine? Well, Susie, the LAPD usually has 45 days after an officer involved shooting to release all body cam video, but this incident happened just two weeks ago, and today they released that dramatic video to the public. And we do want to warn you, the video you are about to see is graphic. We have a situation on West 21st Street. It began with a frantic 911 call on March 16th made by a family member of the suspect, 36-year-old Jorge Cerda, who they said was armed with a gun and on drugs. You know what? I have my nephew. He's in the back, and I'm not sure he has a baby gun, and I want, I want somebody to come in, please. Concerned neighbors also called police. Hi, yes. I want to report that there's a guy in the property with the gun. Uh, he shot up into the air. My family's in the back house. When the LAPD officers arrived, Serta had barricaded himself inside the home on West 21st Street. Police say he had a shotgun, not a BB gun. Body cam video shows officers calling Serta on the phone. This is Officer Signs with LAPD. Are you okay? Eventually, a crisis negotiator was called in to help. But things escalated from there when Serta refused to come out. In this body cam video, you can see two SWAT team members closing in on the home when suddenly the one in front is shot in his bulletproof vest. We heard a round. You good? Roger. The second SWAT officer offers to switch positions. You want me to take your place? Uh, no, I'm good. They fire tear gas into the home. <laughs> Seconds later, that same SWAT officer is shot again in the face. Ronnie's down. No, it's down. No, it's down. Ronnie's down. We aren't showing you the graphic video, but it shows the injured officer falling to the ground and being dragged away by his partner. We captured the moments that the SWAT officer was put into an ambulance and rushed to the hospital. In another video released by the LAPD, a different officer fires at the suspect from a window. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't move. Don't move. Don't reach for that rifle. We've blurred the image, but you can see a rifle next to Serta, who was pronounced dead at the scene. The LAPD released these pictures saying they recovered a stolen shotgun and a pistol, which was a ghost gun, making it undetectable to law enforcement. Now that SWAT officer, a 17 year veteran, is expected to recover. The police commission will make that final decision on whether the officer involved shooting was justified. Susie. All right, Jasmine, thank you.